Hey what's up everyone my name is Thijs and welcome to Dual Wielded. In this devlog I add a hub to my game in Cave. A game taking place in an ever expanding Russian cave system where civilians took shelter after nukes were dropped during a fictional cold war. But Thijs you already made a hub last time. To that I say yeah I did. But it was just a scene, it looked poopy, it was basically just a grid of tiles I made and it has less of a function than my brain has when I try talking to girls. So basically what I did was I made the hub actually function and what better way to start than drawing a, a background. Yes. Now the hub needs to feel like a safe environment, not like some kind of scary spooky part of the cave, but a place where you could feel at home. It should make you feel like the hub is the only somewhat cozy place in a giant cave system. And it should also make you feel, feel like, like Spider-Man Spider nearly every step of the way. So I'd say that the background of the hub should be a calm background without too many details, but let me just say that I'm not someone who can keep things simple. It's why my game's color palette looks like this. So honestly it was kind of a struggle to just make a wall with a smooth rock surface. This was my first attempt. No. This was my second attempt. Third attempt. Here's my fourth attempt. And every time I deleted a tile pattern in Unity so that I could change it into a different PNG. The background changed to this because the engine doesn't recognize the image anymore. And at this point I kind of started considering this as the background for the game. It was the best one so far. This one was also a no-no and after 12 years of pure dedication, I finally made this. In game, especially if I layer it, it looks pretty epic, not even gonna lie. Currently the hub still looks very empty, but not anymore, so stop whining alright, I, I already fixed it. I'm happy with the way things look now, see there, there's some cloth, a pillow, a blanket, probably someone's bed over there. And the absolute masterpiece of the hub, the center is over here on my right. Now I thought I was heterosexual, but uh, I think I'm into campfires now. The campfire exists of four different particle emitters and a couple of different light sources that all light up different layers to make things look extra super mega nice, baby! The next thing I did was make a game over text. It says Demise in a cool, nice, fancy typewriter font because I thought Game Over would be boring and You Died or Death wouldn't be super cool or original. I like how Sekiro has the Japanese symbol for death together with the word death. So I did the same for Demise in Russian. It's uh, Konshin, which again is the Russian word for... Oh. So I added this kind of vignette thing. It might look like I just made it too dark, but if we change the background into something more fitting... Now I feel like the guy from this video, what the f- So next to the text demise, two buttons spawn. Restart and quit. The game will have permadeath, which means that if you die in the game, you die in real life! Oh. For now, restarting will bring you back to the hub, and clicking quit will take you to the main menu, which I've been working on for a while now. So at the end of the hub, there's now a room switcheroo gradient thing that takes you to the first level. So now there's only one thing left to place in the hub. No, NPC. So I made this female NPC, possibly the wife of gas mask guy. For now, you know him. No, but I'm just not sure if this is the final version. Okay. I'm pretty happy with the general looks though, and especially that I managed to make her look female without giving her giant breasts a boop. boop but honestly, I'm kind of a Thais man myself. Get it? Because my name is Thais. Uh, actually, my name is Thais. But everyone pronounces it as Thais. Are you stupid? Have you not mastered the Dutch language yet? We live in the 21st century and you haven't even mastered the Dutch. All I'm saying is that I thought this would be more difficult to make. Since you can only make a pixel art character like this look female by sculpting some curves, tightening the shoulders and especially the hair plays a big role. But now I have a nice male and female template. <laughs> <laughs> These people can now just chill around in the hub. So I really like how games tell small stories just by environment. Sometimes games have written letters you can find with lore that makes the world feel more alive. Sometimes random NPCs can start a conversation and talk about things going on in the world. I've heard they have good magic trainers over at the Mages Guild. I've heard good things about the mage trainers there. Is that so? For, for better or worse. And sometimes even the environment itself can tell a story. You just have to look for it, stand still for a sec, and realize what's going on. Nadia, which is the name of this woman, was wearing a white, bluish outfit with red spots when she fled to the cave. 
Now obviously something like a dress isn't the ideal piece of clothing in this situation, so when she found a dead body with a nice jacket and some pants, she took those. She still wears the bandana thing from her original outfit, because long, loose hair is very grabbable by mutated animals, but she took off the matching dress and hung it in front of her sleeping place as a curtain or cover. Now, is this exactly what happened? Maybe. I left out a lot of details. All you know is that Nadia is wearing a bandana that matches the dress hanging here as an improvised curtain. But when you see a connection like this, it's interesting to think of the possibilities of why this is the case. Or maybe just think the developer was being lazy and reused a clothing pattern, okay. And that's actually it for this video. In the next devlog I'll probably add a new enemy, maybe redesign the title screen, though I'm pretty happy with what it looks like now. Make a logo, do some random stuff, I don't, I, I don't know, okay. This isn't the final hub version by the way, it, it will get a lot bigger, it will work vertically as well and have small rooms here and there, possibly with doors you can enter. Thanks a lot for watching this video, we reached 500 subs, let's go boys, yes! Thanks each and every one of you who subscribed. We're halfway through a thousand, so if you haven't subscribed yet, you, you, you don't have to, okay? It's fine if you don't. But leave a like if you enjoyed, really helps me out. And join the Discord server if you're interested. See you in a while, because my internship started and I'm a busy man now. Okay, bye. Wait, it's all Shrek? Always hot to pin. Wait, I thought I thought you were dead. It was all just a trick. No matter what anyone says, I'm still a poorly designed and poorly drawn. <laughs> <laughs>